This is the first section on chapter four, which is root inspection. And here we're looking at Eulerian graphs. Now, the first thing, uh, Eulerian graph or graph can only be an Eulerian graph it is if it's a connected graph. Now, if a connected graph has all of its vertices or nodes um, have an even order or degree of valency, then it's known as a Eulerian graph. If, however, um, exactly two of the nodes or vertices have odd order, degree or valency, then it's known as a semi-Eulerian graph. Now, if uh, a graph is Eulerian, then it's possible to have a trail that includes every edge and that trail starts and finishes at the same vertex. So here's an example here. I can visit every um, edge and start and finish at the same place. Let's show you how this works. So if, for example, I started here, so I could do this. So notice that I can visit a vertex more than once, but in this trail, I've actually visited every edge and started and finished in the, in the same place. So I'll just show you that again. So start here like this. So I'm visiting every edge, a couple of vertices I visit more than once, but I start and finish in the same place. With a semi-Eulerian graph, a trail will include every edge, but will start and finish at different vertices. So here's an example here, and you'll see that the um, path that I draw, the trail that I draw will visit every edge, but start and finish at different vertices. So I'll start at this vertex down here, and then I can go up here, and then across here, down here, Actually, I'll need to change that slightly. So I will start here. This one will work. So I'll start here, down here, up here, across here, up there, and down there. So you can see with this, I started here, but I finished here once I actually got it correct. Now, just going back to this one briefly, this trail that we took that... Um, went to every edge and started and finished in the same place. This is known as a Eulerian circuit. Right, so here it's asking us to state whether this graph is Eulerian, semi-Eulerian or neither. Now the way we're going to work that out is by writing down the order of each one of these vertices here. So um, A is 2, B is 3, C is 3, D is 2, E is 4, and F is uh, not 5, F is 2. So can you see here that I've got um, two of these vertices here have odd order, so it's going to be semi-Eulerian. So just write down, since two vertices or nodes have um, odd or exactly two nodes have odd, we could use order or, um, or valency, I'll use the word valency, um, therefore the graph is semi or semi Eulerian. Okay, let's have a look at part B. If possible, find a trail that trans, uh, traverses each edge of this graph exactly once. Okay, now here's a little tip for this to work, um, to find this um, uh, trail that's going to go through all the edges um, once. It doesn't mean we're going to start in different places, but the little tip is that we need to start at the odd node and we're going to finish at the odd node. 
So that means starting at either vertex B or C. OK, so for example, if we started at B, um, I'm guessing that one root would be uh, A to B or B to A, A to F, F to E, E to C, C to D, D to E, then to B, and then finishing at C. OK, so that's the trail written down here. Notice it. Notice that vertices can occur more than once, but edges only occur once. So we've got a connected graph that has five nodes. The order of the nodes are four, six, three, P and two. Explain why the graph cannot be Eulerian. Well, for it to be Eulerian, all of the nodes uh, would need to be even and we have one odd node so at best it can be semi-eulerian if this has um, an odd order so we'll just write down the graph cannot be eulerian since it has an odd node or odd vertex and we could probably add in a, a new larian graph all the nodes vertices must be even okay let's have a look at part b explain why the graph must be semi-eulerian OK, well, the key to this is the fact that it's a connected graph. Now, connected graphs are either Eulerian or semi-Eulerian. Um, so that will be answer. Since it's a connected graph, it must be semi-Eulerian and the order of P must be odd. So uh, since the graph is connected, that's the key thing, it must be either Eulerian or semi Eulerian. However, since one node is odd, the order of P must be odd. There's nothing else it can be, it can't be even, therefore the graph is semi Eulerian, probably a little bit over the top with the explanation, but uh, you get the idea. Part C asks us to give the number of edges contained in a network um, in terms of P. Now, back in chapter two, you may re remember something called. Euler's handshaking lemma and Euler's handshaking lemma links the sum of the valencies, um, the sum of the orders of the vertices to the number of uh, edges and his handshaking lemma said this that the sum of the valencies, sum of valencies is equal to two times the number of edges. So what's the sum of the uh, valencies? Well, that's going to be four plus six plus, or actually maybe we should write by Euler's handshaking lemma. So we should always state what um, formula we're using. Uh, yeah, by Euler's handshaking lemma, 4 plus 6 plus 3 plus p plus 2 the sum of the valencies equals 2 times the number of edges number of edges so basically if we find this sum and divide it by 2 we get the number of edges so I'll write down number of edges of edges equals what divided by 2 
So this is going to be 13, 15 plus P divided by two. So 15 plus P divided by two is the number of edges. And then part D asks us to draw a graph with two nodes, which is either Eulerian, uh, neither Eulerian or semi uh, Eulerian. So it can't be either one of those. And that goes back to this thing about connected graphs. It means a graph with two nodes that's not connected. So here's an example, two nodes here, A and B not connected. Here's another example, two nodes here, uh, not connected, but maybe we have a loop. We might have a loop there, or we might have a loop here, but the two nodes mustn't be connected. So that's the key to this part. If it's neither one of these, then it's not a connected graph. So you should now be able to do exercise 4A on pages 87 to 89. So just a recap of what even valencies are, uh, what odd valencies are, Eulerian and semi-Eulerian graphs. Uh, these are always connected graphs. And then if a graph is not connected, then um, it's not Eulerian and it's not semi-Eulerian.